Tomorrow's quarterfinal day at the Women's World Hockey Championship. Canada facing Sweden. That's at 5 Eastern. Coverage, though, starts at 10 a.m. Eastern. Finland and Switzerland. That's a round-robin rematch. Finland won the first meeting 5-2. This is the 23rd Women's World Championship. Only the 2019 tournament did not have a Canada-USA final. In that year, Finland, as you recall, beat Canada in the semifinals. But with more on Canada-Sweden, let's hear from Kenzie and Cheryl. Well, the big news heading into Canada's quarterfinal game against Team Sweden as Sweden will be without their second centerman in Sara Jalmersen. She'll serve a one-game suspension after a cross-check against Germany's Tobia Bothoff. Cheryl, this is a big loss. Jalmersen has two goals and two assists so far as they now take on Canada. Well, yeah, it's critical when you look at her and what she brings to this team. And, you know, with Bo Vang and Lundin, her wingers, this is really critical because not only does she provide that top six element who can score, she's also huge net front, right? She's got that presence. She's on the power play there. And with this top six, they've got a layer to them, right? They also took Canada overtime a year ago. And you think about that without Yalmerson, it's going to be a tough task. And so that's where we sit right now. We look at Sweden. Their top six forwards are producing. Canada, we're seeing more of the depth providing some scoring right now. We look at Kristen O'Neill, Emma Malte. They've been playing strong hockey right now. Well, yeah, there's some great storylines. There's no question about it. Kristen O'Neill, those two goals against Czechia. And you think about Gosling getting her first, Sir Dachny on the board. So when you're looking at the secondary and tertiary scoring, you're thinking Canada is in such a great place whether it's in the face-off dot how they're pounding pucks in and around the net getting more minutes than we may have expected because they have earned them and so that is a really great story but then you look to the other side of it you look at the top line performance right now Poulin, Billier as well as Jenner only two goals of the 12-4 for Canada of course the power play operating at 10 percent this line really needs to get going as they head into the playoff round you know that Poulin she doesn't got a goal yet coming off that March 8th injury so she was out for just about a month and of course Billier trying her on the flanks on the left side. I expect there could be a little bit of change here right now, trying to get them into rhythm, because you certainly know that they need to be going come the quarterfinal and onward into this tournament. Elimination round begins, and for the second year in a row, Canada will face Sweden. As we know, it came down to a nail-biter last yep. year, so you never know what can happen when it's Canada against Sweden.